Hey everybody, Polly here. Thought I'd try something different about a video blog. You see me writing all the time on Facebook, so thought I'd try something different, something new, something kind of different. Speaking of something kind of different, as a lot of you saw on my Facebook page, I'm trying something new. That's right, I'm going into the wonderful world of sales. Started a job today at uh, Corwin Honda in Fargo, and I uh, thought I'd tackle something different because, you know, as much as I love the media, you guys know that. I do love radio and TV. I also like to eat. And uh, quite honestly, a lot of the stuff that I would do in the media, well, as fun as it is, well, I need a little bit more to pay the bills, quite honestly. But I am still going to keep those two other jobs as well, uh, very part-time, and uh, going to try to make sales work for me, and that's going to be my full-time career. It's going to be kind of different, kind of exciting, so as I move into a new venture, and uh, it's going to be great. I'm still going to be helping out KFGO Radio, and uh, very part-time at Valley News Live, two of the best media organizations in Fargo-Moorhead, bar none. I know everybody says that they're the best, but you can take it from me. I've worked at all of them. Uh, literally, I have worked at all of them. And quite honestly, I can say that the two companies that I work with in the media now are two of the mo most dedicated companies that there are in town. So uh, whether you're listening to one of the Radio Fargo Moorhead stations or watching either KXJB or KVLY, uh, you can guarantee that the people behind the scenes are working so hard to put on the best product to uh, entertain and inform all their viewers and listeners. So uh, keep listening to them because you know I definitely am. Uh, what else is going on? Well, uh, you know me also. Not only do I like the media and uh, pro wrestling, but the wonderful world of politics, which is a little bit less sophisticated than pro wrestling in my opinion. Uh, I'm going to uh, check out something that I think you should check out if you're into politics as much I have as I am. Uh, Divas and rock stars on uh, October 3rd are going to be having sort of a presidential debate party. Uh, I talked to my friend Jill Carlson who owns Divas and Rockstars and she told me that there's going to be famous Dave's ribs and a whole bunch of fixins over there. So if you're a political junkie like myself and quite honestly the battle between Mitt Romney and President Obama is almost as good as the Kardashians. Okay, probably better than the Kardashians because I've only watched one episode and I think that show totally sucks. It roots up there ranks right up there with the Jersey Shore, in my opinion. People who have really no talent get themselves on a national stage. Does that make any sense? Not to me. But anyways, that's another story. So I hope you guys can join me and a few of my friends that were going to be out at Divas and Rockstars October 3rd for the presidential debate party. It should be an awesome time. So, and I'm hoping now that uh, I'm sort of changing careers a little bit, uh, I'll be able to make time for a lot of the other the stuff I haven't really been able to make time for myself uh, in days, years, months past. Uh, you know, just going out and enjoying life a little bit more and hopefully making a little bit more of the green stuff so I can not work as hard, if that makes any sense. Because sometimes in the media, the harder you work, well, they just give you more work. That's about it. But, hey, that's another story altogether. But anyways, that's a little bit of uh, what's going on with me. So uh, I appreciate any and all feedback. Uh, I might try to make a few more of these videos. You know, even though I'm not very camera friendly, most of my time in the media has been behind the scenes because a lot of people say I have a face for radio. I tend to agree. But this is my, uh, my page, so you're going to see my ugly mug every now and then. Uh, coming up, I don't really have anything as far as... Oh, actually, I do have something. October 5th, the Brewer's Ball. That is going to be awesome. Uh, it's coming up, and I'll give you more details about that in my next video when I get all the information about that. we got some great bands, a lot of beer, a lot of wine, and just a whole bunch of fun. Going to uh, The Brewer's Ball is going to help uh, raise money, more money, for the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation. All of you know I have cystic fibrosis. had a double lung transplant 10 years ago. And I'm very excited about this because this is, raises a lot of money and you know what, it doesn't hurt to do it. You know, it's come on out, you're, you're drinking beer, you're hearing bands, you're eating lots of gourmet food, it's going to be great, off the hook. 
it's October 3rd and I'll give you more details about that in my next video and I'll give you all the information if you haven't bought tickets yet because it's coming up pretty quick speaking of which I got to get my tickets too so and uh, tickets are $75 and if you want to bump it up to the VIP style it's 150 bucks guaranteed it is worth it trust me I know I've seen how terrible the cystic fibrosis is I felt it firsthand. I've seen what it does to my friends. It's taken a few lives of a few of my friends too. And uh, I hope that uh, we can make cystic fibrosis not such a, a killer. Uh, I'm living proof. Right now they say the median age for a CF patient is in his mid-30s. I'm 41 and over a half. So soon to be 42. I'm so excited about that. So uh, speaking of excited, I'm very excited to also announce I'm going to be a great uncle for the fifth time. Can you believe it? Five times a great uncle and I'm only 41. <sighs> what do you do? <laughs> uh, my nephew Wade and his uh, beautiful bride Nicole are going to have another baby. And uh, I'm just hoping, hoping, hoping it's going to be a boy. Why? Because I got all girls. I love the girls to death, don't get me wrong. But you know what? I got a whole bunch of wrestling figures I got to pass down. And quite honestly, girls aren't that into pro wrestling which is why I don't date too much. <laughs> Sad as that is, but that's another story for another time. But yeah, my congratulations to Wade and Nicole on uh, this, their second child, and uh, it's, it's gonna be awesome. It is gonna be great to be another great uncle, and one more Christmas present to buy, but hey, that's all right. It's, it's fun seeing those kids light up when you, they open up the Christmas presents. Halloween's coming up soon, and uh, I don't know if I'm going to be doing a whole lot this year, but uh, you never know. It seems like the older you get, the less Halloween's fun, especially since I don't drink anymore. Uh, I like to hang out with my friends at the bars, but, uh, you know, it's, the bars are a little bit less exciting when you can't tip back a few. So, what do you do? So, uh, no real big plans for there. Uh, well, I better run. i am got laundry going, and I got my, it's Monday night, so I got my pro wrestling going, too. So, um, just want to say thanks for viewing my video. I uh, keep posting uh, stuff on my Facebook, and it is, it's, I always love hearing from you, whether it's whether you're bashing me for liking President Obama or supporting me for liking it, or, you know, liking the news stories that I post from uh, my, my favorite sources, KFGO and Valley News Live. So, that's it for now. Thanks for tuning in, and uh, I'll see you next time. Talk to you soon.